Hey, what's going on, everybody? Here, welcome to an ATS video on FTG Full Tilt Gaming. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to the first ever FTG Ride Along, where we're going to find the best of the best trucks that we have in our arsenal of mods uh, for American Trucks. And we're actually going to go ahead and shop around for the best parts on these things, showcase these trucks a little bit, and actually make a full, complete haul. That is the one request you guys have made. So, welcome to the video today. Today, we're going to start off with John Root as Kidworth, 900 or Dale. Don't go anywhere. What's going on, everybody? Well, we are here. Got everything loaded up on the Wally World. We got the neighborhood market, uh, and we are uh, loaded up. So we've got a uh, trailer going to Bernie, which is, I believe, right south of Reading, I believe. It says right south of there will be. So we're going to be talking about a few of these things that you see on your screen uh, scattered around. But anyway, here we got the Kenworth. Uh, it's fueled up, ready to roll, and you can just see the beauty of this, uh, the chrome. I mean, everything about this thing just really, really looks good. Um, so we'll showcase this as it is, but you kind of see... Uh, some of this light flare modding, which is uh, another mod that he put in there. So we'll flip the lights on here. You can see how that LED there on the marker, everything's got its own individual bulb, which is really cool to see. It's not just a kind of a blank of just a, just a light element there. Um, so it actually looks really good with this reefer. I'm actually surprised how well this turned out. So normally sometimes it can be a little meme for those that have uh, <clears throat> ever watched the shit, they watch the channel. So anyway, let's go ahead and let's crank things up. Let's go ahead and let's hop in and let's go ahead and get things going. Oh, I didn't really want the sweeper mod. Oh, no. Let's we'll swing out real wide here. See, I've noticed that in Sacramento, for whatever reason, this whole street is busy. It's right there, leads on for the 80 going to Reno. Uh, and then serves up, but yeah, still it's busy way too busy for it to be you know like standard traffic all right so we'll ride through all right so this is okay this will give me a little bit of a chance here to talk about a few things um so right here uh, i've got the camera down here on our shifter and also our extension all that's built on the fanatec shifter um, also, um, and we can kind of, as I get into some setup videos and stuff, we're going to talk a little bit more about my shifter and how I set that up. Um, and also, you'll see that the, uh, the a, um, ASP button box, the heavy hauler box from Evolve PC, you can find a link there in the description and also a coupon for 10% off. So if you do have one, you want to buy an F2G faceplate, that would be really nice. Uh, it looks good on there, so we've got that rolling, uh, so check the description for that. And also, over right here, um, that is our telemetry. It's getting telemetry from the game. So it's basically everything that you could ever want is in that uh, in that little window. And 
it's, it's a little small just because I don't want to completely cover up the whole screen with it. Um, but, uh, but basically RPM, gauge, clutch, brakes, I mean literally everything is in there. Fuel, it's got all of your time. It even breaks up the damage to your individual parts of the truck, which is pretty slick. So, and it looks like the sweeper there has turned off to the right. So it's good. We're going straight, which is a really good thing. So I do have the van mod, they come off the steam workshop. Somebody's probably gonna ask, hey, how'd you get FedEx vans? <laughs> oh, hang on there, Range Rover. Red Rover, Red Rover, send Dolly in the Range Rover right over. Wait a minute, is that right? Yeah, probably not. And climb the hill, stupid on ramps. There we go, seven low. We are headed towards, uh, we'll be on the five, at least right south of Reading. So we'll get some good cruise miles in here. We'll showcase the inside and outside of the vehicle. That way you guys can check it all out. Once we find my next good straightway, which will be right here. Let's, let's go ahead and do that right now. Careful, you'll actually launch off that one. Yeah, I hate this part. Yeah, I think on the multiplayer, I think I've turned quite a few trucks over right there. All right, about 207 miles. As we um, so let, let me let me go ahead. I'll talk a little bit here about the truck as we kind of own cruise right now. Um, actually, we'll just go ahead and set that. Alright, so cruise is set. Actually, we'll go ahead and dial that back. We'll see if I'll get that speed warning off. We'll dial it back to uh, 59. Will it take 59? There we go. Alright, now you don't have to look at that cruise on there. So at any rate, um, so we talk about a few things on this particular truck that I really, 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 really like. And these actually apply, good we can bypass. These actually really apply to all of John Ruda's trucks. Um, this truck comes with 50 plus skins. It comes with a decent amount of customization. Now, not, not a ton of frames. You don't get day cap versions. Uh, you don't get all that stuff. But what you do get is a really, really nice, smooth running Kenworth 900L. That's what you bought. That's what the truck's titled. So don't expect a Viper-esque mod um, in this because it's not really meant to be. So it, you always can kind of chalk these up to early access. Um, you kind of, uh, the way I look at it is I've, I've bought into the mod no matter where it is in its development. And John's constantly updating these things. So I can't say enough about his ability to update as well as uh, let people know his, through his Facebook page what's going on with the mods. I've never felt like he's going into the dark where we just got my money and I, there's nothing else left to do. So um, I, I can't promise that. I can't guarantee that. That's just a risk you take. But I'll at least say just me as MTG, no matter how, how far my word goes, um, I try not to stick you guys with people that I feel like is going to eventually um, you know, stick it to you. And he's always been good to me. He's been great to work with. So take that to the bank uh, for what it's worth. And so I guess talking about this mod, as we're sitting out here, I don't know if you guys know. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit loud out there. I'll stay in here for that, this part. 
Um, looks great on the inside. I feel like the frame rates are a little more extended than what they would be for something else. And that's another question I'll probably get. Uh, someone will ask, you know, well, hey, how, um, how, how, what's the frames like on this thing? Well, I mean, I've got a really big system, but I am, I am, I am putting this over three different screens as well. So, um, you know, I wouldn't say it's, it's, it's a little different. Um, if I was playing on the single, this, uh, single monitor, this, this mod wouldn't give me a single ounce of, uh, you know, problems or issue. So I think, uh, I would say maybe be a little wear if you have a very average PC and you like to run your graphics a little on the high side. Um, I would say probably a good litmus test. If you can run Outlaws and if you can run Vipers 389s fairly smoothly, uh, then I think you'll probably find that this one will probably perform a little bit better. Uh, than those will. Uh, a little bit less customization, um, but still, I really think where this truck ex uh, excels is, um, is its chrome, is the textures, the materials that is used on this truck. Uh, it really, really, really does work well. So um, it's, it's actually fun to drive. There's very few trucks that I feel like are fun to drive. Um, I've got over 1,700 hours in ATS. And I've driven them all, you know, I've driven them all, I've been in them all. Um, and I know it looks a little weird from my perspective because we're in the three view and I'm really far up on the dash. Um, but it at least feels realistic when you're looking at it. And I did find that when I'm in single monitor mode with track IR, I feel like I'm in a truck and it sounds like I'm in a truck. The immersiveness of the mod is really something to uh, champion um, because you can tell a lot of work went into this which is to be expected, um, especially when you're paying money for something that's not a donation. You want to know that somebody has gone the extra mile to make it as absolute, uh, the best that it possibly could be. So um, at any rate, that's all I'm really going to say on this. I think you guys, uh, you know, uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the trip here. I'm just going to kind of go outside. We're going to get some good views of the truck. Uh, we're going to just let this thing drive down the rest of the highway, and I will see you once we get to Bernie.
necessarily I like that. Uh, any of these Whole Foods are really hard to get in and out of, so let's let's see what we can do here. Yeah, going through some flash zone. Hopefully we can make it through. Let's see where they want it. Uh, yes, let's. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Yeah, that would be fine. It's gonna be a little tough getting this big thing around. So let's let's just shoot for the play and it's safe, which is still not going to be easy. Don't even know if I can get around there for this way. Let's find out. probably have to cut it around, back it up, then pull forward, so we'll see if we can do this via the mirrors. It's not a not a tough backup job, but still, nonetheless. Go ahead, I'm going to turn this one mirror in just a little bit. All right, let's see. Five, there we are. Let's let's cut this back in that way we can see. There we go. Now I can see the trailer. And don't forget to adjust your mirrors. It's, uh, whoops, driving 101. over here you guys really can't see that mirror over there even if you could see it you probably couldn't make out what was on it but all right looks like yep they got it let's go ahead and pull forward we should be good to go Get you a good view of the truck. So, anyway, that's it for uh, that's it for the John Ruta KW900L. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We are going to have more on this one, especially we got the uh, the 389. Uh, that is a new 389 glider, so it is not your your kind of old school 389. So, uh, it is just as good, and even got some custom stuff to it. So, we got some wheel packs now from Jess Mods. Uh, done some awesome stuff on on his wheels. Um, that have been out, uh, you know, the next uh, past week or so. John Rude just lowered that truck um, and added a lowered frame on it, and it is bad to the bones. I can't wait to show that, showcase that one for you. So anyway, if you like these, if you got suggestions for these videos, like always, man, let me know in the comments. You know, you don't have to be nasty, you don't have to be mean about it. Just let me know. Hey, man, I'd love to see you just drive. Okay, uh, we definitely want to try to get some more of those in. My recording times are a little dicey, so I either have to record or I have to stream. I usually don't have an option to do both during the day. Um, just not my full-time job. So I've tried to do the best I can, trying to interact as, as best I can. So uh, give me that suggestion. I'll see what I can do and see if I can make that happen. Uh, but this is a good bridge there between a showcase and also getting a nice little load there from Sacramento up here to Bernie, uh, north of Redding. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you all, hopefully, here in the next video, guys. We'll see you. Peace out.